Hi, hi, this is Sovereign, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Alright, so last time, the game really started to pick up, so we went back to the mental hospital. Hey, um, and then we got a little, we got a little lost. We had a few jump scares, walked in the endless hallway, and turns out, surprise, surprise, Sarah Hawkins is alive. Um, and now that we've established that Sarah Hawkins is alive, uh, Charles Hawkins, I believe, is actually dead. Um... Now, there's a chance that he's not dead, just because, uh, you know, we also thought Bradley was dead, and Bradley was very much alive, too, though, so... We will just have to go see what's poppin'. Uh, Chapter 9, The Hawkins Mansion. After the deaths of Colden Pierce... Uh, Colden Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller, well, the last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient e evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Um, so I guess under all of that, she's my wife and she has to listen to me. Uh, a kind of speech that he went on about obedience. We're supposed to take away that. He loved her. He was trying to save her. Eh. Anyways. I think this will be an episode where we figure out a lot more of really what's going on. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt. The guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Oh. That's a little... You can't bring My a child work back, was I'm what sorry. me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Who? Oh. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> The true victim here, the child, apparently. Yeah, that poor child. Simon. I think he's the only one who Come actually on. fucking died in that it's fire. Over now. Ooh. More tentacles and. A lot of things going on there. Is that a mouth? Oh, I think it was supposed to be a mouth. <laughs> yet another die. Yet another uh, <laughs> uh, trauma. Yeah, this place was really fucking creepy. 
the, the first time we were in it, but now, um, but now it's kind of nice. You get to see the true beauty of the place. Let me see if I got any character points from that hole. I have two. Great. What do I want to put them in? I think I was doing eloquence because it's the only thing that's not level four. Uh, new trauma? Charles Hawkins. I got a new- okay, I'm still shaking though. Even though I've got like a damn near nothing left here, I'm still just shaking. <laughs> but we're good. We're not insane. <laughs> oh, why would you think that we were insane? Just because we do through a bunch of trauma? <laughs> I've been through a lot of trauma. I'm not insane. Oh, and now we can also explore the rest of the house. You all find books. I guess I'll roam through here a bit. So originally, this was the chapter that I thought I was starting back in on. I think it was like part six? Don't quote me on that. I think it was part six. Ooh. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Yeah, I think it was like part six. And I thought, we'll do a bunch of talking. We will be fine, you know? Oh, okay, so now I gotta find like, the correct thing to look at here. Oh. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? I wouldn't even put it past it. <laughs> That seems like a new another trauma. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. Do you really want to know? She was trying to send back the ship. Mm. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. To be fair though, I guess I would too. Why do I keep missing this shit? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Hmm. That's great. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Alright. Thing. Maybe we'll find anything. Maybe just going through the house is a big waste of time. But like, what if it's not though? You ever think maybe it was like that painting she painted of him it was like the fan made of shit? He was like, "How dare you paint me like a hideous monster? How could you?" And being back in the house does remind me. That a while ago I was like looking, I was I was in the house and I was like, man, something about the Scylla. Uh the silica. This is just a child's room, right? There's nothing here. And I was saying something like, oh, I thought that was something that I had like like listened to or heard of recently. And the answer was yes, I had heard of it recently. Uh the Scylla is actually a monster in uh Greek mythology. It's one of those, uh, if you know about the tale of Odysseus, that dude who, like, left his wife, had to go, like, go fight the, uh, go fight, uh, like, a war, so he left his wife, and the wife is, like, fending off all those suitors, and he came back in, like, disguise, and he, like, restrung his bow and fired it through, like, 12 axes. Like, that whole story in Greek mythology, um, you know, he was, like, gone for, like, seven years, and he was, like, don't remarry until the boy has, like, uh, a beard, a beard or something. And so, like, that whole, that whole story, well, on the way back, like, he had, like, he had, like, pissed off Poseidon, and so Poseidon was like, fuck you, you're never going home. And so he sent, like, him, like, he sent him in a way where the tides, he had, like, sent them, they took him away, where he had to, like, go between, like, a whirlpool and some other sort of beast, and one of those things was called the Scylla. Um, so, Scylla in Greek, in Greek mythology... 
I think it's Greek mythology. It's gotta be Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, is a monster that killed a bunch of, of Odysseus' men. Because he didn't make the proper offering to Poseidon. We gotta talk to Bradley How now. Are you, this Bradley? is what he said. Ah, it's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? We're gonna tell him the truth. Just because I feel like it's better to know and be able to get closure on a certain, uh, I mean, on, on this than to have him sit here and be like, I, I don't know what happened to her. She just left. She, she never told you anything, so. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh, all right. His grief causes, holds a test eloquence, although I can. So this is like a test. I could fail this. The nature of their relationship, Fuller will pay the price. I could just be fucking insane about it. But I did tell you guys that I wasn't going to do that. I'll, if I ever do a playthrough, I do. I will I will fill you all in, but that's not... I'm just going to do this psychology. I understand your feelings, Bradley. But I don't think that you're in the right state to make such a decision. He killed a Pierce. I can't do nothing. Faced with this situation. Fuller's crimes won't go unpunished. I give you my word. But for now, you must keep a cool head. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. I, don't I think prefer I can. to be alone. Yeah, I can only get one really, only one little option there, and it was the... I mean, no, wrong. I do think you should go shoot shoot Fuller. I think we were about to shoot few, uh, Fuller until uh, I think Marie herself said, "Don't be a murderer." Mister Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are Edward? you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Yeah, like who the who are you? Oh, me? Who are why are I you? I need to talk to Mister Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Okay. Have fun. You Let's seem see. different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. You feel guilty? You and Drake are so ho ho. He's dead. Is it because of the Wanderer? I want to do this You've one. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. The Shambler? No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Ah! So we all die. There must. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's how I know I done fucked up because <laughs> I don't want to do it, but so I won't. But oh my gosh. So we all die. You will get us all killed. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. Doesn't seem like I have much choice. 
do any of us, homie? Can I talk to you some more? Because I feel like there's tons of other things I could have talked to you about. And yet. Alright. So now we gotta go find Charles Hawkins' office, which I was just in not too long ago because I was looking for books. So I could increase my occult knowledge. Oh no, that's just closing the door. Uh, that's not it. Where did the fuck the office go? This isn't, this isn't studio. Maybe it was downstairs and I missed it? It's probably downstairs. Let's see. Ooh, ah, the same room I was in. Where the hell is this office then? They said you're only gonna find the office once and you already did. So it's not downstairs then? No, because downstairs is in a little a little loop. There's no way. I have like just seen the office too. Cause this is like their bedroom. And this is like the boys' room. That's still their bedroom. That's the studio. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was in here. Yeah, here it is, here it is. It was like, okay, so I originally thought it was on the ground floor, and I was right, it was on the ground floor. I just took the wrong little tunnel. So why are you coming here, from of all places? Seeing huh? you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. Valid. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. Uh, what he's do you dead. mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. You're kind of an asshole. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do hmm. with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. <gasps> yeah. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I hmm. doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And well, now remember it remains Rob, you never paint a picture of the Shambler. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. All right, step one, get rid of the Shambler. Step a two. A genius like you must have already little. found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. 
Well, I, I hope with I you and all your superior intellect, but for you that, could... I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your really? baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've Can't already you just make seen another one? Sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found Ooh, this drawing dead. among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Bitch. Okay, so now I think I'm supposed to be looking for this, uh, bust. And if you recall, there's a lot of bust in this house. Um, there, there really is quite a few of them in this fucking house. If you hadn't noticed before, you're about to notice now. <laughs> Maybe we can keep a running tally. How many busts are there? Well, that's... Two so far. I don't think either one is the one that we need. Uh, up oh, three. That thing looks like the creature from Penny Dreadful. And there's a very specific bust up here. Oh, four. If there's this one up here, maybe it's over here. Be nice if I didn't have to search the whole house because they made it the easy one. Ah, uh, but alas, it's not. Anyways, five. I genuinely don't think it's in either one of the bedrooms. Sorry, I'm gonna go check the studio first. <clears throat> because it's also like if you remember back, like way back when, like part three. That's where uh. Charles Hawkins, like, had to run off to. Oh, well, maybe I didn't see any bus in here either, though. Oh. Can I crouch in this game? That's, uh, six and seven. Seven bust so far. And I guess I'll check the room for shits and giggles. You never know. I didn't think so, but I guess one can never be too careful. Oh, maybe it's here? Haha! -ha! What? What? That little bitch. Yeah, I know where I've seen it. Anyways, that was. 8, 9, and 10. 10? bust that we saw and that wasn't even the whole house that was just in like the three bedrooms that I searched lady loves to sculpt what can I say or maybe she wants to buy sculpting I guess nobody ever said that she was uh actually sculpting damn what a strange little box that I have like never seen before here this is the amulet that Drake was looking for Oh, that doesn't look like... That doesn't look great. Is that a new trauma? I got another character point. Haha! -ha. Level 4. So after this, we can really put our... We really put our, uh... Points into somewhere. And I think I guess I'll do spot hidden, since I think that's like how I increase these two. My occultism is lacking.
Okay, I'm officially psychotic, y'all. I have been through <laughs> like every trauma this game had to offer. <laughs> oh my gosh. There is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying, which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth. You have seen the frightening face of reality. That's great. Which kind of, um, while we're walking back to, to Drake here, we'll take a little long way around. Which, uh, I mean, yeah, we'll take a little bit longer because I have... <laughs> it reminds me that I was like I was I was watching this video earlier as well, and they were talking about how like people get so many like people get eldritch horror wrong, um, and their thing was like oh everybody's like eldritch horror hor eldritch horror is like slowly going insane or being insane or finding out some secret and that secret makes you insane, um, but they were like but what it really is is, you know like imagine that you're an ant, and you're on a like a micro, like a like a motherboard or something, and just for a second, you are able to see the like the the motherboard through the eyes of a human. You're able to perceive what it does and how all those wires connect and what all those wires do when they connect. And then after the second passes, you're back in an ant's body, and you would do anything uh, to be able to understand what you saw again. And I guess that's what they were getting at. That was Elder Tour. I may have like kind of reiterated that wrong. Um, but the video was super, super interesting. Ah, uh, it's you again. Ah, uh, I got the thing you want, little bitch. Oh, what happens if I just leave? What if I don't give him the amulet? What if I just leave? <sighs> Is it just gonna make me come back and give him the amulet, though? I guess I'll just give him the amulet, because I, I think that the I next step is just- we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Ooh, another character point. I don't think... <laughs> Any more knowledge of the occult will help me right now, but you never know. Ooh, she's just standing there all menacingly like. I have it. Well, hello. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. You what can kill you yourself. It's so terrible. You convinced yourself that you had to risk so much. I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Ooh. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Did I in Nice cause job, trouble? Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? You ever just like look at somebody and you're I like, yep, he did time in the military? Save him for the judge. That dude right there. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. Fuck the police. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will. Um. I would have noped right the fuck out of this case so long ago. Oh my god, I could not even tell you. Alright. Um. That is all for part 
10 of Call of Cthulhu. I'm not quite sure how we're, like, one chapter above, like, how we're, like, how the parts of the chapters aren't matching up. I think it's because I did two chapters in one part that one time because the one was short. Um, but next time we'll get to chapter 10, we're going, we're going to the police station because apparently we've, we've been, we've been, uh, fucking around a little bit too much. Um, we may even get part 10 and 11 done if I remember part 10 wasn't super, super, uh, crazy. Uh, I mean, it was crazy, but, <laughs> um, in a, in a different, in a different kind of way. Um, however, I will see y'all next time and thank you so much for watching.